Hello everyone, in today's In A Jiffy, we want to find out if different picks, plectrums, finger extensions make a difference in tone. Some of us might uh, neglect the kind of material, the kind of size of a pick. So does it truly affect tone? So let's quickly find out. I'm using a Schecter Nick Johnson signature, SSS, three single coils. And going into the front end of a Hughes & Kenner 2 Meister Deluxe 20, going into an orange PPC 2x12 vertical cabinet, mic'd up by a Shure SM57. So we're going to try this through a clean channel, uh, a mild crunch, just to hear the difference, and maybe some high gain, just to chug a few tones. So I'm going to begin with uh, the pick that I always use. So this is a Dunlop uh, Jazz 3, the Altex version, the small one. So this is what I commonly use every day of my life. So let's check it out. I'm going to stick to the neck pickup for the clean tone. We're going to go to the in-between position for the crunch, and I'm going to go to the bridge for the high gain tone. So here are some of the tones with the spectrum. Crunch channel. Hi again. Next up, I have this Jazz XL. It's a Jazz 3, but it's the stiff four version. I don't know if you can still find this today, but uh, this was one of my main picks when I was in high school. So here's a clean tone. So immediately, immediately, I can hear that it's darkening the tone. So let's try another pick now. I'm going to try the regular, the original Jazz 3, the red one. So I can kind of hear that this is in between the original Altex that I always use and the Stifo, the black one. I'm using now a Planet Waves Black Ice. So this was their version of a Jazz 3 Tortex by Dunlop. And this is the extra heavy 1.5 mm clean tone. So with a thicker pick, I find the tone a bit darker on the clean tones. Moving on, another favorite pick of mine, this is the Ibanez Paul Gilbert signature pick. A bit more clearer than the other picks. Moving on, the James Hetfield signature Black Fang right here. So this is a 0.94 Altex clean tone.
not as smooth as the other pick, so it gives that slightly, I don't know how to describe it, chalky tone, I guess. Let's uh, try out a Hatfield's counterpart, the Kirk Hammett signature jazz pick. Clean zone. Reminds me of the original jazz string. Doesn't sound too far off. Next one, a classic. This is a Fender heavy pick. There's some use here. I see the decal fading out. So here's a clean tone. Next, I have a Fender a medium pick, so this is a bit rare as well. I don't see this anymore. Clean channel. I found a rare one, I found a rare one. This is a Ernie Ball, medium, plastic pick I'm guessing. Clean channel. One mm. Okay. Now I'm using a Dunlop uh, nylon pick. One mm. I remember buying this because I saw Rick Rundown and Mark Tremonti was using this. So the nylon picks kind of give a softer edge compared to a plastic pick, at least that's what I'm hearing in the room. Here is the black Altex Jazz 3, but this is a 2.0, and here's a clean channel. Clarity is something else. Now I'm going to go to the evolution of that pick. I'm guessing that John Petrucci was really liking that pick and then came up with a signature pick which has a smoother bevel but still retains the slightly matte finish. For the grip, clean channel. Next here is a Planet Waves pick. Oh, this is the Joe Satriani Chrome Dome pick. It's rather thick. I think this is like a 1.5, maybe 2mm, probably 1.5. Let's check out the sound of a metal pick. It's 
heavy. Next is a control sort of. This is the regular Tortex, the ATMM, commonly used by people like James Hetfield back in the day. Next, let's try out the 0.73 Tortex as well. So this will be equal to the yellow color Tortex. Um, Dave Mustaine uses the yellow one. This is a Dunlop pick which I do not see any longer. It's a giant triangular pick. It's quite difficult to control, but uh, let's uh, hear how it sounds. too big. <laughs> I can't imagine using this live. <laughs> I'm so used to using a jazz three size pick. This is ridiculous. My god. <laughs> Next, let's try something a bit more boutique. Here is a gravity pick, a classic pointed mini. 3mm clean tone. Slides off the string really easy. Here's another gravity pick, the Rob Chapman signature pick, clean tone. So the difference with this one is there is a slight uh, rougher bevel on the side of the pick compared to the regular one. Here's another classic, a lot of shredders like to use the stubby, this is the big version. This is a 3.0 mm as well, clean channel. Next is a Dunlop Fins, which you don't really see them being made anymore. This is the ADMM nylon version, so if I remember correctly, these weird bevels or curvy little things here is supposed to resemble a 12-string kind of uh, plucking tone. So we're going to try out with the regular edge first, and then we're going to go to the, the curvy one. So here is the regular edge. So if I use the curvy edge, it's supposed to give me a different kind of uh, tone. It's just a bit different. Regular side. The extra curvy side. Regular side, curvy side, regular edge, extra curvy edge, next up is the Dunlop Prime Tone, so this is a slightly boutique version 
of the regular pigs is slightly different material, sculpted a little different. So this is the one with the more rounded edges. So let's hear that. Next up here are a bunch of uh, GraphTech picks I have here. So this is the Task 1.0, this is the dark one. I can't remember what exactly it's supposed to model after because they have different brightness or warmness of each pick. So let's go edit. This is the black one, clean channel. amazing clarity so I'm gonna try another task pick so this is the beige one beige in color different shape uh, jazz shape and 1.0 uh, 1.0 mm here's the clean channel absolutely clear the final one here is a white color dusk pick this is a 1.4 mm jazz shape clean tone So there you go, that's almost all the picks in my collection. Now these GraphTech ones are a bit surprising, this is the first time I'm trying them out. It's a mixed pack, harmonically rich picks, man-made ivory picks and made in Canada. First time I'm trying these out, sounds pretty brilliant. So let us know what tones you liked with which pick. Leave a comment down below if you heard a difference, if you did not hear any difference. Give us a thumbs up, enjoy the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon.